How's it going, fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC, and today we have a special guest again. We have... I'm Nikki. Nikki! She's back! We're gonna do a final video of 2023. I thought this would be fun to do. We're gonna go over some of our favorite knives of the year and just talk about them, the experiences that we had with them, and just have a little bit of a laid-back hangout session before we close out this year. Um, if you guys aren't aware, she joined the EDC community this year. Mm -hmm. This is a very new thing for her, and um, she, she kind of just went all in right from the get-go, which you're going to see with the knives that she has. Um, but yeah, let's just kind of jump into it and talk about it. Do you want to go first? Okay. Go first. What do you have? What do you have for um, us? This is one of my favorites, my TRM Nerd. That's a little tiny guy. It is a little tiny. I think this is the first. Was it the first this folder? This is you the got? first folder that I got. Yeah. And t so TRM is so cool. They actually sent that to Nikki for free. Like mm -hmm. they just sent it as a gift. And you even got scales with it too. Yes, I got two sets of scales yes. with it. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a that was a really cool uh welcome. Nuggy, stop scratching the carpet. Um, yeah, that was a that was a very cool first gift. Yeah, this one definitely holds a little a special little place in my heart. Yes, and you used that right right away, didn't you? Yes. Yep. Yeah, this came everywhere with me because it was in the summer too, so it mm -hmm. fit in all my short my denim shorts. Your overalls. And, yeah, my overalls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I rocked those for a while with this. Yeah. Yeah, I just I I love it. But I I will say, I think that knife also made you realize that maybe you can handle larger knives too, right? Don't give me that look. <laughs> I like to handle bigger things. Um, that's because what you, she said. You saw that online and you really wanted it because it was cute and small. Mm -hmm. But then you got it in hand and you were like, okay, now I see what you're saying about like use your shit. Like if you actually use your stuff, ergonomics and, and size do kind of matter. Yes, they 100% do. I do like the smaller things, yep. but I've definitely learned which... I favorite like which style of knife yes. I favorite and yeah um I definitely want the next one you want the neutron too I do she TRM if you're watching she wants the neutron too <laughs> hint hint okay yeah because um, I keep trying to steal Erica's and she and I just immediately like stop yeah. stop taking my shit um okay so I'll go next I'm sure you guys guessed this the benchmade 940 from the custom shop this is one that i just how could this not be a favorite we just tested this it passed with flying colors this is one of my favorite knife models of all time i love the orange i'm on an orange kick now and this was just a really nice way to kind of end the year a very cool knife uh jesse thank you for this i don't really have too much to say about this one because we already tested it. Uh, it's just a 940. It's an S30V. It did great. Didn't have to get sharpened at all throughout the month. Um, really nice. Way too big for you. Yeah, it's too big for me. Way too big. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because we have the same size hands just about, but it, it just feels too big for you. Yeah. And see, for me, it's perfect. So for me... Whew, Sorry. Whew, yeah. Just take my fingers out. You don't need those. Nope. So for me, this fits really, really well. I, I almost think it's how you hold things. Like this knife feels very comfortable in my hand and the 945, the smaller version, just feels way too small for me. It's just not comfortable. But for you, it's perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. Love the 945. Yep. Do you want to talk about that one next? Yeah, sure. This is um, my 945 Mini Osborne. I love this. I've carried this a lot. Um, it's really, I want to say like hard wearing. I don't, it's yeah. And Jesse got that one for you he did, too. Yes. And he got your name yeah, put on and it. He <laughs> customized it. Do you want to do the thing that you, and it's, it's really, really nice. And the blue liners. It's yeah. That's a nice pop of color in there. Now, this is the first knife that you learned how to freehand sharpen on, isn't it? This yes. is that this was your first, let's yeah. just look at this. She's never sharpened a knife in her life. She's never used a sharpening system. And she just one day randomly in the summer was like, I want to learn how to freehand sharpen. I was like, <laughs> okay, that's funny. Um, I'm going to show you the edge that she did first time. W what in the heck is that? I didn't do that. She did. 
just on a whim in the driveway. You did it in the driveway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sitting. on that little... <laughs> on a little handheld diamond stone. Yeah. Who does this on their first... On their first try? <laughs> like, what the hell? And then she ended up, like, stropping it and giving it that, that shine, that mirror finish. But um, she did that first try freehand. I did not help her other than literally telling her how you do it. Mm-hmm. So just to give a small representation of Nikki's intelligence, there's, there it is. Um, can, can do anything first try, basically. So you love that one. Yeah, it's definitely the Benchmaids made me realize that I like this. Yeah, because when you have your kitty claws on, that's much it's easier. It's easy. Yeah, yeah, it's so easy. And then, and I'm not a big, I don't use knives a great deal. No. I don't think. No. But I would ones... say like a normal person. Like you open packages and mm -hmm. you, you have zip ties to cuts and, and like things for the kids. Like they're always yeah. needing things yeah. taken care of. But aside from that. Yeah. When you do accounting and stuff for a living, you don't really yeah. need a knife. Right. Um, But this, I love how lightweight this is. Yep. And like you said, this one really fits into my hand really that nicely. That was made for you. Yeah. Yeah. And then with my, usually when I have my really long nails on too, it, it just, it works so well for me. Yep. That's a good one. Yeah. I love this one. All right. So I'll go next. Uh, this one was really fun to test the Spyderco Native 5 Lightweight in Maximit. I tested this one this year during the summer. This was a really fun knife for me because I've dealt with Maximit numerous times Maximate is one of those steels where Spyderco ended up changing the heat treat a little bit to benefit us as consumers. And it was really nice to see the improvements they made on the steel. I will say the rumors about not mirror polishing it are true. I spent a gross amount of time putting a mirror finish on this to test it and it just didn't perform nearly as well. So like the rumors are true, but it was cool to actually learn that. Um, it was nice to learn how to freehand sharpen Maximit better because the first time I ever did it, it was really difficult, but this time I did it much better. It was just a fun, it was a fun learning experiment, like a fun steel to toy around with. And that was just a really, a really fun one. The Native 5 Lightweight is one of my favorite EDC knives. So the Maximit experience was really cool. You have a mini version. You want to show it? Oh, this one? Yeah, that's oh, that's the baby yeah. version of mine. Did you know that? No. This is the native. That's the little native. You have the baby version. Gives, gives it away, doesn't it? Somewhat with the. I have to take this apart and clean this one. Yeah, you, that one you you've used a good amount and carried a good amount. Yeah, this one. Is it sticky? No. What? This do you have one's sand? shiny. Do you have sand? I have sand in this one. Yeah, this one's kind of shiny. <laughs> You want to show it? What did you... What the fuck is that? <laughs> is that fucking nail glue again? <laughs> oh my god! I can't with her. <laughs> How does that happen? Pop off. How does that happen? Why because is there nail glue on this again? I always carry it in my bag. Oh my god! I don't know why she does this. She did that to her, um, her Slater, too. Nail glue all over it. Didn't know that this was happening, but yep, little native covered in nail glue again. Jesus Christ. You can't get- Oh my- Can you guys hear that? Hold on. There are grains of sand stuck in the pivot that I can- I can audibly hear right now. You can see them too. I want to take you yeah, apart. You can see them too. <laughs> To make things worse. No. Oh well, my it's god. It's just a classic example of Nikki. Of chaotic Nikki. That's what it is. This knife is very cool aside from being really gross right now, but this is a really cool tiny little knife. Is there anything you don't like about this one? No. No, you like that. Nope. One. Yep. Yep. And I also I don't it's not as easy to Spidey like, flick. Yeah. Well seeing that it's encrusted it, in yep. sand. Yep. It, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That that irks me. No. I don't like the sound of sand you in a don't? pivot. No. I never would have guessed. They never would have guessed. <laughs> it bugs me. Uh, um, yeah. 
That's no, a very cool knife. I though. really, I really like this knife. It's such a good knife. And it's fucking cool looking. It is. Like, it's, it's a very badass little guy. for a yeah. tiny little. It's um it kind of reminds me of like a ninja knife because it's all blacked out. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's 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 badass. Yeah. I okay. love this one. Um, this is one that just came in the other day, which I already made a video on. This is the Spider Coat Sage 3 Blackie Collins Bolt Action Knife. And this is a knife that I had many years ago. I gave it away, instantly regretted it, and somebody sent me this the other day because it was stuck open and really needed some TLC, and they basically donated it to the channel and said, if you can fix it, keep it. I did offer to give it back. He, he doesn't want it. Um, this is really cool, though. This was a cool knife that came through. Again, just recently happened, so a cool way to end the year. But I love the Sage series. Something I noticed, though, is... I thought they all had like a universal handle size and they were all the same. They're not. This particular Sage 3, like the, the Sage 3 out of the whole lineup, has a larger handle than like the Sage 5 Lightweight, for instance. I didn't know that. I thought they were all the same. And the blade is larger on this one. So that's weird. No, it's a big boy. It is. A, yeah, it's it fills the hand way more than the than the Lightweight. I have both and I thought they were the same, but they're not. Uh, just a really cool knife. It was fun to work on. It was um, very cool to take it apart and, and get it working again. So this was just kind of a fun little project that came through. And a reminder that there are good people in the world. Like, it was just so cool to have someone watch the channel and be like, hey, I heard you say you wanted that and I have one I'm not using. Let me just give it to you. It's just nice to have that reminder of the community, I guess. So that was a, that was a cool one. What do you have next? Mm, Northy? Uh, north, little north? Yeah. Okay. Now, you... Was this the only Sodbuster that you kind of designed with Josh? Mm -hmm. Yep. So this was this is your first design mm -hmm. with Knife Guy mods. Yeah. That's cute. Okay, so what is north? Yeah. Oh, we went through this, didn't we? You know what it is. G10. Yep. yep. It has a red G10 and then it has white G10 liners yes. too. Um, and I steel. Stainless steel. Yes. Because I don't like the teeners. You don't like the teeners? No, I don't. <laughs> she, she doesn't like going to teener town with me. I no. leave her I leave her back at home. And then they, it has a half stop too. Yeah. That one is on freaking washers. I didn't know that. Oh. He put washers in there. You can't even freaking see them. No. I had no idea until he told me. But that That's makes sense crazy. as to why the action is so nice. Yeah. I really like these because they're, especially North, North is thin. She's thin. Like yeah. some of the ones are thick. You don't like how thick Wednesday thick. is, for example. No. That's not your jam. You no. like the thin ones. I also don't like that Wednesday looks like my dead grandfather's don't. sweater. We're not starting, just saying. we're not starting grandfather sweater again. It's a Swe sweater. Sweater. <laughs> sweater again. Sweater weather. We're not doing that again. Okay. You like um, how thin she is. She's I do. But I, at the same time, I prefer, like, this kind of, yeah. like. These are almost nice to have, like, laying around everywhere mm -hmm. for if you don't have a knife on you. And then you're like, oh, I have one of those. Which I'm not that type of person. I no, you I have one on have... me until I am in my bed asleep. Yeah. I, but normal people. Like, I I want to take one out and put one in my drawer at work so that I have yes. one there. You and... have them scattered. See, I have OCD, like, to the max. It's actually really disturbing. So my knives all have to be together. Like, unless it's on my person, I can't have, like, one in the truck and one in a toolbox. Mm -mm, doesn't work like that. They can't See, be separated. We're so, excuse me, we're so opposites in that yes, sense. Because yeah. you're OCD and I'm ADD. Yeah. So my shit's everywhere. Like <laughs> my shit is everywhere all the time. Um and but yeah, so I really like North. Um she matches my jacket. Yep, and you have a flashlight that matches her. Mm -hmm. You have other knives. Yep. Yep. Yep, that was a cool yep. one. I love this red. It's so pretty. It pops. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of Christmas, too. And you got it, like, near Christmas time. So the whole thing was just kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Now he's on the move. Oh, okay. No. Um, Chaos my... will ensue. <laughs> my next one is the Slater from Knife Guy Mods. 
this was really special to me because I, you know, within the year met Josh Francis through the knife community. And I never really thought that such a beautiful friendship would transpire through all of this stuff that happened. Like, it started out with him literally asking if he could just fix a knife for me that was sent to me from Case really botched, uh, like, for free. And then it just turned into a freaking knife business. <laughs> like, mm. what felt like overnight. I mean, it literally, he, he just ground down one side of a, a case sodbuster for me because it was so uneven and now we've got like a dozen knife models orders booked like crazy we have last month literally literally created a new handle material um that a company is supplying for other people now we have a logo that you made mm -hmm. um stickers hats like we're just rolling into 2024 with some with some steam behind us. Like it just so, it's so crazy to me how a favor from a viewer turned into a business within months. And he's busy. Like he is freaking oh, yeah. busy. He's sending knives all over the world. I think he's he sent one out to Germany either yesterday or he or he's doing it within the next few days, but um, the Slater was the first model that we kind of came up with. It was the just OG. the OG, the OG of Knife Guy Mods. Just some natural micarta with orange G10 liners and it just took off. And this is our best seller. It's so funny that it was the first knife that we made and then it also is the one that is most recommended. Isn't it the one that's on the logo? Yes. Yep. Yep. This is the one. So aside from it performing incredibly well during the testing. It's just like our flagship model. So that's a really special one to me. And you have a Slater too. Not not here with you, but you own one. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, you got a bougie boy coming up next. Yeah, bougie girl. Bougie girl. This yeah. is my, this is, this is such a pretty knife. This is kind of an, uh, like a rare one. Like you guys don't see this one very often. No, she's too good to take out. Yeah. We don't show this one very often, but it's some mm -hmm. of Josh's best work. Can yeah. I hold it up? Yes, please. Okay. So what is this? Oh, I don't, um, mm. you don't know what this is called? I, my, my brain broke it. Broke it. It broke it. This is a Case Sodbuster Jr. and it has gold infused carbon fiber with white liners. That's what it is. See, it's written in my field notes book. Look at that. She's Whoa. So pretty. Just gorgeous. This mm -hmm. is like a really bougie type of knife here. Half stop, all the goods. Um, this was one of Nikki's first Sodbusters. This was the. No, this was your. This was definitely your first because I went all out. I was like, we got to get Nikki one, but let's no, make it no. bougie. No, because this, wasn't this the black one? This is, this is, this was the black one that you gave me. Yes, that yeah. he, that I sent to him and he. And then he, yeah. Right, but that was one of your first. Oh, yeah. Saudis from him. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Bougie. It's... Be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Fancy. She's so fancy. She fancy. Um, okay, what do I have next? You didn't cut yourself off. No, I'm trying to, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Jeez, I'm gonna close that <laughs> for you. Okay. My brain is broken. Yeah, we're we're ready to get into 2024, mm -hmm. I think. Um, this is a GEC bullnose. This is not new or anything, and I already had one, but this is one that Steve Kalari sent me. I bought it off of him, but this was a nice one to get because everyone knows that the bullnose is really hard to get, and he sold it for a crazy cheap price, so I was really stoked to hop on that, but it's got Natty Micarta. Just a really cool uh, traditional knife, and I was excited to add a second bullnose to the collection so that was a highlight a good a good snag a good sale that i caught this year i just want to i'm having an add moment Go. i was supposed to Pop say this earlier please. so this one i have a delica four um but i don't like this no nope, it has this not. it's a green handle yes um and I, I don't like this. This is not comfortable for me at all. No. 
You can change it though, right? Yes. Yep. I think we need to. You're not a fan of FRN. Mm -mm. No. Not at all. Mm -mm. Nope. No. And then, because I also have my little dragonfly. Dragonfly? Dragonfly too. This one. Okay. Um, and yeah. You're not. You just don't That's like really small. That one is tiny. Um, tiny. But yeah, I don't like that style. It doesn't, it's not comfortable. For me, it's not comfortable a lot to work of people, with. A lot of people hate FRN. They yeah. hate it and they really don't like the bi-directional texturing on these ones. Mm -hmm. I love it. But I also like live in logical world most of the time. And I can convince myself that I like things if they're logical. A lot of people can't do that. No, like, you're, this you're to very me, special. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're really special. Yeah, oh, lick I, that window. I, <laughs> I really like, I really like the FRN. Um, okay, did you just show, do you show one of yours? Show me yours, I'll show you mine. Uh, did, did you just go or did I go? No, I just, you I went, did. You went, you showed that one. Okay, now so go. my turn. You know what that is. Yeah, this is. Um, the Laren. The Laren. That was a yeah. special a special run of, I believe, 500 from Buck. Mm -hmm. It's Magna Cut. Yep. I really like this. This is really easy to work with. It's slim. Um, yeah, it just... You did a lot of testing with that one. I did year. a lot of testing. I carried this for like a, a solid review? month. I need to, yeah. I should. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I should. Review coming 2024 of <laughs> the Buck Knives Laren. Did you say what steel that was in? Yeah, Magna Cut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to... We have a lot of stuff. No, go go ahead. Um, we have a lot of stuff, so I'm going to add... I'm going to put two together right now. Two knives that I got from the heart of the channel, Jesse. He sent me a GEC Dogleg Jack, I believe this is called, this year. And he also sent me the Mike Morin single blade jack. Uh, I think that's what it's called. And this is in 154 CM. This one's in, you know, the typical 1095 high carbon. They're both, you know, the, the jack knives and they have the same blade shape. The custom one is larger, but these were cool to get in. I really like this blade shape and the, the design in general. So it was cool to get two iterations from two different companies and obviously you guys were there for the the whole custom experience with this one we haven't even tested it yet but i i was breathing next to it and chipped the edge so that <laughs> that whole that whole ordeal is on the channel and was really interesting for a 750 dollar knife but this is so nice it's, it's so light like yeah. it's so it's like air yeah it's crazy yeah it's really nice. Um, so I'll test that at some point. But those were cool to have come in. I've never had a custom traditional knife. I, I, I've had custom fixies and stuff like that, but never a never a traditional knife. So very cool to have come through. Excited to test it next year. Um, you. Now that one I got, I got a lot of these for you, but that one I bought mm -hmm. for you and I cringed when I bought it because I have a video when I was living in the campers of me like shitting on Benchmade for these silly colors and the silly hippie stuff. And guess what I no. had to buy? One of the silly knives this year and she loves it. I love it. I carry this a lot. You use that a lot. I do. Yep. In the house. Yep. Out the house. Yep. That's a good one. I Fits really your hand like, perfect. It does. These, yeah, these two. Now, can I ask you something though? Mm -hmm. Why are you okay with the Benchmade uh, plastic handles and you don't like the Spyderco ones? Is it just the texture that they do? Because that's literally the same material as the other ones. Yeah, it's it's the the feeling of this is so rough. You don't okay, so it's literally the texturing, but you like yeah. the diamond pattern on yes. pattern on. Yeah, it. because it's not as rough. It's not as um prominent. Yep. It's just easy, and it doesn't feel as this isn't as thick and yeah. Eh, as yeah, you the just don't like it. E. Okay, it's the spider co <laughs> one. Sorry, that was an e. <laughs> but no, I love these. These are so easy to use. Yeah, and this is a great size for me. Yep. Like for a for a female that wants to, mm -hmm. you know, that's for a good a, one. A girly female, not all females yep. obviously like smaller knives, but yep. Yeah, this is it's light. 
small. It's just great to carry around. It's good in my handbag because it's thin. That one does not have nail glue on it yet. It doesn't yet. Yeah, maybe someday. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Um, what do I have? I, I'll do a, a double again. Two more GECs that came through. And I have to, you know, ode to Jesse here because I really didn't know anything about GECs prior to Jesse getting me into them. Like, I had the bull nose, but I think I picked that up a long time ago just because it looked like a sodbuster, and I didn't really even know about GECs. Jesse's the one that supplied all of these for me and really kind of, like, taught me about them. And he got me this cattle knife, and this is the Cody Scout. Just two more really nice GECs that came through this year. Uh, neither of these have been actually tested. I've obviously used them, but they haven't done the 30 days of testing, so that'll... That'll come up, but these were cool to get in. I think this is a, a really useful design. And then the cattle knife is just freaking sick. Mm -mm. This thing is uh, I know. You don't like you don't like this stuff, but a lot of people do. I know, I'm just This thing is sick. I'm just what sharing, don't you like about just this? My, look at it. <laughs> just look at it. it its existence it like, is horrible. It looks it's it's freaking heavy. It is. That's why that's why Michael did a blade delete on his. He got the other blades taken out. Did you know that? No, I didn't. That's a good and and it looks like a beetle. See, to me it reminds me of like a cigar, I think. No, a to beetle. me it looks like a like a hardback beetle. Like it kinda eh. kinda does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that you know, its wings? Like the June bugs? Yeah. It's when I lived thing. when I lived in Switzerland, there was a certain time of the evening you used to walk, and these freaking things used to like fly into you. This is a this is a June bug. Yeah, that yeah. See, no. Okay, mm -mm. okay so we don't. She doesn't like that, but that, that's looks like it. It looks like a an old rancher's knife. It's a cattle knife. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm an old rancher. Didn't you know that? Haven't you ever known? <laughs> wow. Okay, okay, you're running out of shit. I'm running out of stuff. Okay. Well, you have two more. What uh -huh. do you have? I have this one. Oh. You were close on the spider. I was close on the spider. All right. Flick. What is that one? This is the Para Three. Yep. And this um was also from Jesse has again. My name on it and was from <laughs> Jesse. Yep. Um. I love. I this. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that's one where, if I recall correctly, when you held mine for the first time i think you were like this is a little big and bulky and then i think you handled it a few more times and you were like ah it's actually mm -hmm. kind of sick yeah and now no, they are now you're like okay this thing is badass yeah i'm obsessed with this one yeah that's a good one see that for me makes me comfortable if she's carrying it when we're out because that would be a good knife for those purposes that self-defense yeah. Like, that's going to be way better than a freaking Sodbuster Jr. in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's a mini version of the Paramilitary 2, which is a combat knife. So, like, this is a very good knife, I think, for any female to carry if they're out and about. I think it's a great design. It's fast. It's easy. It's ergonomic. I think that's a very safe knife to have. It's slightly on the heavier side, for yep. sure. Um, but I think it's big enough, like, you can get a good grip. Yep. And again, with I did this, I think, in another video where I had my really long talons. Yes. And my nail just, like, curved yeah. over this part. <laughs> and it just fit perfectly. Yep. Hold it. Reverse grip. What? How's that feel? Give a little... Like it would hurt. How's that feel? Good? Good. Comfy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. not at me. <laughs> Not me. I'm not the enemy. Um, okay, so you Make love that. Sure you know. <laughs> Watch out. Now again. that you've supplied me with all the weapons. Oh my god. Yeah, supply the enemy with the with the ammunition. Um, okay. My my next one. Oh my god, we're 30 minutes in. I gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Gotta okay, go, go. This one just came in. Kyle knows where the bake apple. I already had one, already tested it. It was amazing. This is the Scandi ground version of that knife tool steel, handmade, hand forged, all the coolness. Gonna get the teeners. Really excited about this one. I'm sad it's gonna get the teeners. You're the only one that doesn't like the teeners. 
Why don't you? I have more stuff than you. I have to show another one. Why don't you like the teeners? Meh. Yeah. You like clean, yeah. pristine. Well, don't you remember your um your other one, your green one? I wanted to clean it. We're not talking about that. She wanted to clean the 940, yeah. Um, This also came in for testing. The Azula. Very cool. Really bright orange. I love this. I can't wait to test it. Really small little knife. I'm excited to test all these fixies next year. Um, oh, especially... The are on the right way. Say that. Say that out loud again. <laughs> say it. I said, now that the scales are on the right way. I made the first video on this and my dumb ass put these on upside down in the video and nobody said a word until one guy finally a day later was like your azula scales are installed upside down i was like oh my god no wonder it feels like shit and it also looks hideous like how embarrassing though i did the introduction of this knife there are like a very good amount of views and the scales are on upside down Funny. Um, excited to test that. Okay, you show your last one and then I'll do my last two. Seeing that as we've mm -hmm. been talking mm -hmm. for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's the Leatherman Wave Plus. In black oxide. That thing is sick. You actually used that this year. I did. I did when we were doing the fence. Wait, we have to thank the guy that sent that to us. Um, yep. Zeb, I believe his name is. He sent us a surge and this. And Nicole has the surge. Mm -hmm. um, Nicole and Trevi have the the surge. I said I should say, you like that? I love this thing. This you is awesome. It. I keep this in the car. Yep. And you used it at work. Yep. A couple times. Yep. And then I used it when we were outside with the the, the fence. fence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I did a little video. Little that was video. your first full size Leatherman too. Yeah. Well, I fell in love with yours. Yeah. Oh, she's always trying to steal my shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I keep telling people like ask what they can donate to the channel or give. And I'm like, um, things for Nikki so that she stops trying to steal my shit. Because but I have OCD was... and I don't want anyone touching my yours shit. Yours was the color of that too, though. You like the, the coyote. You yeah. This one. We're talking mm -hmm. about the rebar. Yeah. I got this this year and she instantly was like, um, I'll be stealing that. And I was like, no, you won't. We'll get you your own because I don't touch my shit. I'm going to get yeah, sand and nail glue in it. I just rolled on myself. Anyway, <laughs> you I mean, like that. You you're used a it. It freaking was hot mess. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. Um, that's a great, that's a great tool. And I yeah. love the black. Yeah. I was worried because of how big it was. I was like, oh, well, I actually, yeah. But, but once it's available, you just use it. And I didn't so much this year, but usually I refinish and re like paint and everything, a lot of furniture. And I feel like this would be a great little thing to have around. Yes. Super handy. Yeah. Super handy. I love it. And okay. you know, it comes in its own little case. And you, you got the bit kit with it too. Yeah. Okay. My last, my last two, technically three, but one of them is not a NAF. Um, this came in this year, the side piece from Archie over at Nice Guy Machine Company right there this is a really cool pry tool that he made he's got a whole bunch of them he's constantly making new designs but this one i just had to have because i have all of his full size pry bars so this was a really fun thing to come through this year i i love this the pocket clip is sick okay but why that bead that's his bead that's his be no one bead this is like my favorite bead of all time check it out it hides the lanyard knot and it's a square you don't like that it's so big. That's what she said. I, damn it! You beat me to it. I was going to say that. Maybe I, like I don't it. know. I like it. What did you just, what did you just say? She said maybe your mom would like it. <laughs> My mom's gay. <laughs> she would not no. like it. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, did I tell you someone the other day down in the comments got upset with me about the mom jokes? Lost it. They were like, well, my mom's dead and you offend me. I'm like, okay, it's a universal joke. And I have 10, over 10,000 subscribers. How am I supposed to know that the universal joke is going to offend one person out of 10,000? And it's not personal. Someone it's, literally, it's, they, they popped off. You should go look at it. It's on them if they see it as being offensive. I would, like, they hate the your mom jokes. It's like, stop watching then. Yeah. It's like, I don't even know you. Yeah. Someone really lost it i'll show you later it's hilarious Something called free will 
You <laughs> freedom can, of speech. Something. Yeah, yeah. You can just, but you are free to watch and free to just fly yeah. the fuck on by. <laughs> <laughs> well, polish I mean, a turd. That's what you yes. meant to say. It was polish a turd. Yeah, yeah. I that just randomly came to me. Anyway, I know I saw that in the comment. And I was yeah, like, that's it. that's what it. Roll a turd in glitter. We that you can do, a No, turd. you can. You it's it's the same thing, right? Like there's a beetle, I think, in either Africa or Australia, the dung beetle, and they yep. roll turds. They like yep. They like roll around the desert on a turd. That's their form of transportation. Well, it, you, it's the same thing, right? You can roll it in glitter it's yeah. all pretty it's and glittery still, yeah. it's still shit still <laughs> <laughs> how are we talking about poop now okay we're getting way off let me show you the last two knives steve kalari custom knives steadfast in magna Kai. this is one that we tested a couple months ago it passed with flying colors this is just an incredible knife steve is really making some cool stuff and moving into 2024 he has incredible products that are going to be released so check out steve kalari at kalari custom knives this was a beautiful knife to test it's that was awesome Ooh, I had a shiver. sorry you good I just did a <laughs> somebody walked over my green <laughs> and the last one is the jeff davidson gecko this is the knife that we're testing for january i started it a little bit early because i was so excited this is an adc rv2 steel See the teeners? Look at the teeners starting. That's cool. Do you like that? What? Yes, what? I changed my opinion. On what? It looks play pretend. What looks play pretend? It looks it looks like a plastic knife. You change I really liked the look of this at You're first. You're saying you don't now? I was just looking at it down there and I was like, that looks like it belongs with a children's like why, why are you doing this right now what did i do <laughs> what what did i do to you to deserve that this is extremely cool it doesn't look it doesn't look like a toy. i'm just it looks like a play pretend it looks like it you look like a play pretend when, okay what kind of silly <laughs> comeback is that you look pre oh, I can't even, oh, <laughs> you look, you look play, play pretend. pretend you look like That's some bullshit you, yeah. Look, <laughs> anyway, this is the gecko. This the is really <laughs> stop. This is really cool. I'm very excited to continue testing it. And it's a little tiny fixed blade. It fits very, very well in the hand. It's a little tiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. So that was really exciting to get. That's everything. Yeah. I mean, not it, literally everything, it, but th that's all we can fit into freaking 40 minutes. We need to have our own sitcom. Yeah. I'm You're going to need a coffee for this shit. <laughs> God. Our um, beer. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. That was fun to do. Let me know what some of your favorite products of 2023 were. It's always cool to hear what you guys carried and tested or fondled while you watch TV. Some oh. people have safe queens. Oh. That's a that's a thing. A lot of people buy knives. They don't use them. They just look at them. They don't use them. They just sit there and f and fidget them, and they never actually do anything else. Did you know that? And it's called a safe queen. Like if you just look at it and you don't touch it, I'm a safe queen. <laughs> I'm the Virgin Mary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Did sounds like a wife. You just look at it. You don't <laughs> touch it. 23 years later point of view um anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed that i'll see you on the next video <laughs> stop go use your shit learn how to sharpen your knives and we will see you so soon i love you so much take care